It is time, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my bookshelf tour. For anyone who's new here, I'm Sophia and I love reading romance books. Now, I think about two weeks ago, I posted a video where I organized my bookshelves six different ways in a feat to try and find the best functionality, but also the most aesthetic. Now, as I predicted, my bookshelves have changed since then, but I think I finally found a way that actually works for me, both functionally and aesthetically. And yeah, I think I'm finally happy with them for the moment. And so they're probably gonna stay like this for a while. And so I figured it was probably about time we did a bookshelf tour. If you do enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into it i have finished filming my bookshelf tour but i figured i should probably give you an overview of how everything looks so that is what we're about to do so this is her she is so beautiful i'm really in love with her mind the barstool tripod <laughs> yeah she is so so gorgeous i'm absolutely in love Alrighty, welcome to my top shelf i don't know if it's <laughs> I look so funny down here. Oh my god. I don't know if I should be like in the video or not. Anyway, so I just have two candles up here. They both smell like vanilla caramel. I love them so much. They smell amazing. Gonna move them down for the sake of the video. So up here is all of my kind of mafia romance. It's basically just all Cora Riley and Sophie Lark because they are two of my most favorite authors when it comes to dark romance. I look so funny down here. I can't get over it. So starting up top left, we have have Luca Vidiello by Cora Riley and then we have the almost the entire Born in Blood series. I'm missing Bound by the Past because that is Dante and Valentina's second book and I didn't love their first one so I'm not sure if I'll read it. But yeah we have Bound by Honor, Bound by Duty, Bound by Hatred, Bound by Temptation, Bound by Vengeance, Bound by Love and Bound by Blood. My favorite of this series is definitely Bound by Temptation because it's a bodyguard romance and I think it's honestly the best one I've ever read. Then we have Cora's Kamora Chronicles, we have Twisted Loyalties, Twisted Emotions, Twisted Pride, Twisted Bonds, Twisted Hearts, and Twisted Cravings. My favourite from that series is probably Twisted Pride, but maybe Twisted Loyalties because I really, really loved Fabiano. Then next up we have the first four books in Cora Riley's Sins of the Father series. First is by Sin I Rise Part 1. I know I have the man cover. The discrete covers weren't out when I bought it. Then we have Part 2. I'm gonna be honest, I've only read by Sinai Rise part one and part two of this series and I wasn't the biggest fan um, but I have high hopes for the next two so I have it by Virtue I Fall I don't love this cover to be honest but it's better than a man and then we have it by Fate I Conquer which I'm very very excited for this one then we have my one standalone by Cora this is Sweet Temptation again it's a mafia romance set in the same world but it's just standalone then we have the three books from the Maid series The Sweetest Oblivion I love these covers so much The Maddest Obsession and the darkest temptation and next up we have my prize possessions this is my sophie lark collection but this is brutal prince stolen air savage lover this one is my absolute favorite from the entire series bloody heart broken vow and heavy crown i love these six books with all of my heart and if you're looking for a really easy mafia series to read and just kind of getting into the genre then i'd definitely recommend those six they're so so good and then the next five of my sophie collection um this is the kingmaker series all five books Books. I've read the first three and I absolutely love them. The entire environment of this series is insane. It's like nothing I've ever read and I will never get over it. So first up we have The Air. I also love these discrete covers so much. The Rebel. Then we have The Bully, which I actually finished reading just last night. I'm very excited to review it for you in my March wrap-up. And then we have The Spy. I cannot put my excitement into words. I'm so excited to get into this book and find out who The Spy is. It was hinted at so much in The Bully and I have so many guesses. If you want to talk to me about that, honestly, hit me up on Instagram because I would love to chat to you about it. But yeah, I am so, so excited for this one. And finally, we have The Savage. Then I kind of just have a little random book on the end here. This is Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. It's not really up here for any particular reason other than the fact that I didn't have room anywhere else. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this one too. Okay, and down to the next shelf. This is a continuation of my Dark Romance collection. Um, you may notice that it's sagging a little bit because there is a lot of books on this shelf. I think I'm gonna have to like flip over the shelf to try and stop that from sagging. But yeah, again, I have a candle on the shelf because I love my candles. It actually has a little like 
stone in it which is very cute and like some flower petals it smells like sea salt caramel alrighty and once again it's stunning over here I don't know if I should be in the frame or not um we have the two books of Sophie Lark's Sinners duet this is There Are No Saints I kind of wish I had the discreet covers but these ones are cute too and then there is no devil and the next up we have the truth and lies duet by Kay webster and nikki ash i haven't read this one just yet but i know it's mafia and i'm really excited to get into it then we have the fan favorite the my book series i love these books so so much and it is an honor it is an honor to own the paperback <laughs> then next up we have the predator by runix i love this cover not so sold on the writing style but i'm gonna persevere with it i promise i will i'm not gonna give up <laughs> then we have one of my favorite books this is underlock by marion zapata she's not necessarily dark romance but she fits in with the shelf aesthetic so <laughs> then we have sin is anonymous by som sketcher another fan favorite this is haunting adeline i can't wait to get into this one i'm honestly thinking i might vlog it let me know if you want to see that and we have another mafia this is kingpin's foxglove i haven't read this one either i do love the cover though and i've heard that it is a very very um intense on the like mafia business aspect so if you want a book that's like that perhaps i'd recommend it <laughs> then next we have wretched by emily mcintyre and hooked by emily then we have priest by sierra simone i love these covers so so much and the spine detail of the flowers is absolutely gorgeous next we have another one that doesn't really fit in the dark romance category but the cover matches the aesthetic so it's here this is a five rounds by nikki castle okay and next is deviant king by rena kent this cover is Oh, so gorgeous and still princess is just as pretty but we'll get to that one in a second uh you may have noticed when you're higher up that i actually have books stacked behind these front facing ones and that is simply because i don't have enough shelf space to only have the front facing one like stacked up with nothing behind it i do have an empty shelf at the bottom but i don't like having books down there because they get really dusty i just want you to know that i'm not like neglecting the books behind these front facing ones it's just because i need more shelf space anyway so <laughs> deviant king it's facing out and then we have the pervert first by mayor hughes i okay there's a reason this one's not on display and that's because it's a shirtless man on it then we have hate by tate james liar by tate james are they in the right order no they're not fake by by Tate James and Kate by Hate Tate James. Kate by Hate James. Totally. I'm not gonna fix that. That's not right now's problem. Banish the shirtless man again. <laughs> okay, and then naturally we have the next book in the Royal Elite series. This is Steel Princess. Its cover is also gorgeous, but I wanted the red one on display to like hit the accents you know what i mean and then we have falcon's prey by c lamari i am um, so originally how i had this organized i had hate facing outwards and my mum came into my room um and she was like oh that's not a very nice book to have on display <laughs> and in the stack behind hate i had falcon's prey in there and she started going through the stuff and she got to Falcon's Prey and was like, oh, that's a bit too raunchy for me, I think. I died a little bit inside. But yeah, so hate, no longer on display. <laughs> and I've learned my lesson about stacking inappropriate book covers. Yeah, that was not my finest moment. <laughs> okay, and then in this stack over here, I have Ammo Jones's Elite King Club. Yes, it is upside down, but I can't be bothered fixing it. Um, and then we have Corrupt and Hideaway. That's also upside down. I could fix that. Um, Corrupt and Hideaway by Penelope Douglas. And then we have the rest of my Penelope Douglas, Punk 57 and Birthday Girl. And then we have my one Gianna Darling book. This is Lessons in Corruption. I really want to read the next one in the series because I absolutely loved Zeus in this book. But yeah, I just haven't gotten there yet. And then we have the dare by harley larue alrighty and next we have potentially my favorite shelf just because i love so many books that are on this one so over here i have my old stirrups in front of a lot of my small town romance because i just felt like it was kind of fitting to have them there starting over here we have the wall of winnipeg in may i still haven't read it it's probably been on my shelf the longest and then we have midnight kisses i finished midnight kisses about a week ago now and I cannot wait to recommend that book to you. It is so freaking good. Honestly, there's not a whole lot of plot, but the spice. So good. Like the best I've ever read. It was... <laughs> I also love the writing in that book. It is phenomenal. Like, 
I had to tap it, that's how good it was. And the cover's also gorgeous, so she obviously has to face outwards. Ready, and behind Midnight Kisses, we have Enemies by Tijan. I also haven't read that one, but I know it's a sport sports romance. I think it's a football romance. He's wearing a football helmet, so probably. And then we have Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. I also have not read this one. <laughs> um, let me know if you want a video on that though because I think that could be fun. Then we have A Risk on Forever by N.S. Perkins. I, Shokara, haven't read that one either. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit too mentally unstable to read that one because I know it deals with like death and grief and I just don't think I can handle that. Um, the cover's pretty though. <laughs> I never actually noticed that there's actually two faces in the cover. It literally blew my mind when I first saw that and then behind a risk on forever we have this is like a surprise for both you and me I don't know what's back there um have we met before by Olivia Hillier she actually sent me this I'm very excited to read it and then I'm standing up for the remainder because my knees are old and they <laughs> I turned 20 and my knee problems just like personified um and then we have flock by Kate Stewart also have not read that one and then we have two of my coho books we have reminders of him and ugly love and i can't really get them out <laughs> and moving on we have my eden series i am missing jasper vale but i've heard like not great things about that so i'm a little bit a little bit like apprehensive that's the word i'm looking for but i do have indigo ridge which is absolutely gorgeous if i can get it out <laughs> Indigo Ridge and then we have Juniper Hill and Garnet Flats and then beside them I have one of my favorite books this is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace I'm sure you've all heard of this one it's so so good then we have the first two books in the Playing for Keeps series this is Consider Me and play with me if you couldn't tell this shelf is like mainly dedicated to sports romance and small town romance because those are my two favorite tropes then we have the enforcer by Avery keelan this is a new addition to the collection i got it for my birthday last week and i absolutely love the cover i'm so obsessed with it it's just absolutely beautiful and i cannot wait to read it i can't get over how stupid i look down here <laughs> popping in and then we have the words by aj i love this one too i did vlog my experience reading this one in my weekly reading vlog a couple of probably a month ago um yeah really really good really really thick but like so entertaining that's what she said then we have another two new additions to the collection this is mile high by liz tom ford and the right move by liz tom ford i cannot wait to read these two i've heard such 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 good things and i just want to read them so bad and the covers are also beautiful and then we have the simple wild by k tucker we all know how much i love this book and then of course we have its sequel wild at heart and the little novella forever wild and then once again a new little addition to the collection this is say you swear by megan brandy the cover absolutely beautiful the internal chapters <laughs> however a little bit less so. <laughs> I'm still so excited to read this one. I think I'm probably going to vlog my experience reading it and maybe just like a weekly reading vlog because I have heard nothing but good things and I'm pretty sure I'm going to cry in it. And then in a little bit closer, we have a lot of my favourite books, actually a lot of my favourite series. Is. We have three new additions to the collection. Can you tell it was my birthday last week? <laughs> um, we have Whispers of You by Catherine Cowles. That's actually my current read. However, I'm only four pages in, so I can't really tell you much about it. And then we have a ton Stars again by Catherine Cowles, Fair Catch by Candy Steiner, Blindside by Candy Steiner, Quarterback Sneak by Candy Steiner. Absolutely love this book, my absolute favorite book of all time. And then we have Hail Mary by Candy Steiner, Off to the Races by Elsie Silver, Flawless by Elsie Silver, Heartless by Elsie Silver, Ignite by Melanie Harlow, Taste by Melanie Harlow, Tease by Melanie Harlow, and Tempt by Melanie Harlow. That was a whole last mouthful, but I love like all of these books so so much alrighty and next is the second to last shelf i'm very glad i can sit on the floor for this one because my knees were getting so sore this shelf is kind of just like a mix of everything it's a little bit like my overflow shelf but i tried to make it as pretty as i could over here we have a another candle can you guess what smell it is it is vanilla caramel no shock there and then i just have like two of my extra little homemade bookmarks over here so starting up the top here we have my off-campus and briar u series i'm kind of sad that the legacy is the 
published edition and all the others <laughs> are indie but it is okay i love them regardless and i think they look really really pretty with my monica murphy books as well the colors are just like so nice together but yeah so we have the legacy which is the fifth book in off campus and then <laughs> starting from the start first book in off campus is, is the deal the mistake the score the goal the chase which is where bright you start the risk the play and the dare i also have you guys seen that l kennedy announced a new bray you series i am so freaking excited for that i cannot wait i really really hope it has the same vibes as the off campus series because that i definitely prefer off campus to bray you but yeah and then we have four of my monica murphy books this is things i wanted to say and then i have birthday kisses which is a million kisses in your lifetime's little novella and then promises we meant to keep and then we have a little bit of a random edition down here. This is the White Monarch trilogy. It's a bind up of Jessica Hawkins series, Mafia series. Um, it doesn't really fit down here. Oh, I'm supposed to be showing you guys covers, huh? This is the White Monarch trilogy by Jessica Hawkins. And then we have First Down by Grace Riley. I'm gonna be buddy reading this with a friend very soon, which I'm really, really excited about. I've heard such, such, such good things about it. Then we have Lucky Hit by Hannah Cohen, Pakshai by Tegan Hunter, Archer's Voice by Mae Sheridan, From the Gulf with Love by Mariana Zapata, Wait for It by Mariana Zapata, All Roads Lead Here again by Maza, and then I have another Monica book which isn't the same size as the others so it's just over here, playing hard to get. Outward Facing is Things We Never Got Over because this cover is just so so gorgeous. Then we have The Confidence of Wildflowers by A Thread by Lucy Score, Hush Hush by Lucia Franco, and Always Mine by Laura Pavlov. And then next to that of course we have things we had from the light i'm yet to read this one but the cover is absolutely beautiful i have heard mixed reviews about it so i'm a little bit hesitant but i'm really excited nonetheless then we have north of the stars by monica james this is my one and only historical romance and it's a viking romance so <laughs> really excited to read it though i'm just like not in the mood at the moment then next up we have my one and only ya romance this is the summer of broken rules by kale walter i will admit its placement on my shelves kind of makes me laugh because it's literally between a dark viking romance and ice planet barbarians <laughs> and with that being said here is the one and only righty one shelf left and i can't prop you up anywhere to film this so you're just gonna have to deal with my shaky hands so this down here is my last shelf i have obviously kept a bit of a rainbow because i just i couldn't let it go okay but over here is just kind of somewhere to store my props for when i'm taking book photos these are all fake flowers but i think they honestly kind of look pretty together so i put it on my shelves Alrighty, starting down the end and i'm so sorry about the lighting it is really awful because it's between my desk up the top we have so not meant to be by megan quinn we Beauty by Katie Robert, Electric Idol by Katie Robert, Neon Gods by Katie Robert, It Happened One Summer and Hook, Line and Sinker by Tessa Bailey and then I have the entire, what is that series called? Um... <laughs> what is it called the formula one racing series by lauren asher dirty air series and that's what it is um throttled collided wicked and redeemed wicked wrecked <laughs> and then moving along to my traditionally published rainbow i honestly don't think i'm going to pull out a lot of these ones for you because they are very popular romances and they're also in very very tight so starting down the end we have house of earth and blood by sarah j mass court of thorns and roses by sarah j mass let me know if you want a reading vlog on that because i am yet to read it and we have the spanish love deception by elena armas good girl complex by l kennedy when in rome by sarah adams everything i know about love by dolly alderton the Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams, You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogle, The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Something Wilder by Christina Lauren, Misfit by Elle Kennedy, Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey, All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, Beach Read by Emily Henry, Love In Other Words again by Christina Lauren, and finally Hot House Flower and Kiss The Sky by Krista and Becca Ritchie. My god, was that a mouthful? Um, I figured I should probably appease your curiosity and show you the stacked up books on my bottom shelf because i'm sure you could see them in that previous clip so these are the books that i'm planning on unhauling soon um just because i didn't like them or because the author is problematic first up we have the stopover by tl swan a touch of darkness by scarlett sinclair a second copy of the confidence of wildflowers twisted love by anna huang i am honestly thinking of doing a video maybe sometime soon i'm not sure of rereading books that i've dna 
DNF'd and the reason I say that is because I DNF'd this one. But yeah, I think that could be a fun video, just like giving books second chances. I don't know, let me know if that's something you'd want to see. Then we have The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood, a second copy of The Spanish Love Deception and a Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. And now that my hair is dry and my back is sufficiently broken, um, we have finished the bookshelf tour. I really hope you've enjoyed. I, I don't know, I love watching other people's bookshelf tours and so I thought it would be really, really fun to do my own and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you enjoyed seeing every single book that I own. Yeah, I just really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Follow my bookstagram if you would like and I am potentially starting a TikTok account, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!